Hi everyone, it's Miss M and for today's cooking and creating week, I will be teaching you guys how to make the Jello Marshmallow Roll-Up Treats. And for this, we will be using some of our science skills and a little bit of our math for our the ingredients that we will be using. You need at least half a cup of water, a little box of Jello. You can get any flavor that you prefer or color. I got the berry blue, which I really like berries, and blue is my favorite color, so it was a win-win. And we also need some mini marshmallows. I just have the regular ones, leftovers from making some s'mores the other day, but I think they should do the job. But then you need something else to make sure that your jello doesn't stick. You can use this or just vegetable oil, like another type of oil, and just make sure you spread it out. Then you need something to measure everything with because we are going to be using some measurements today. And also you're going to need a small bowl to mix your jello and the other things, as well as a large plate. And then you can use a whisk or anything else that you have around your house to mix, like a large spoon, a spatula, something like that. And then, last but not least, you need something rectangular so that we can roll up the jello at the end of this video. Don't forget to have an adult with you. So the first step is to open up your jello packet and put it into your small bowl. So the second step is you're going to get half a cup of water and you're going to either boil it or microwave it so that it's hot. But while you're waiting for the water to warm up, you can go ahead and start getting one cup of marshmallows. I decided to switch to a bigger bowl so that I can mix it without spilling. So I just put the gel in here. And my water is warm, so I'm gonna pour the half a cup of hot water in here. And then you're going to go ahead and put your marshmallows. But since we're going to be melting these, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them into pieces so that maybe it'll melt faster. If you have mini marshmallows, then you don't have this. Well, now you just need to go ahead and microwave it for about 30 seconds. Honestly, it looks kind of weird right now, but hopefully it'll look better by the end of this. All right, so as you can see, it has been melted a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. And it says in the recipe that if it's still not, it doesn't look like it's melted enough, you can go ahead and put it for another 30 seconds. And it looks like I'm gonna have to do that because these marshmallows have not been melted yet. So I had to warm it up a bit more because it's taking a while, but that could be because I used the big marshmallows. So word of advice, use the mini marshmallows. Here you can see it's dissolving. I finally finished mixing it. It took me a long time. I'm not gonna lie, but that's okay because I think this is worth it. So now you're going to take your container where you're gonna put your jello and something so it doesn't stick. Remember, like I said, you can use a different kind of oil, but I'm gonna go ahead, shake this one a little bit, spray it out. I just go ahead and pour it in here. Ooh. I really like that color. It's a perfect shade. So now all we have to do is let it cool in the fridge a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put some plastic on it so that it doesn't get dirty. I just took them out of the fridge. I really like the way the blue one turned out, but I made another one because it looked kind of thin. I'm not sure if it's gonna work as well for rolling, but we're gonna try these two. So before we do that, take a minute, you can pause the video if you want to, and make an observation about the jello. So an observation can be something you see, hear, smell, touch, taste. It can be all of that, but we can make 
at least one visual observation. So one thing that I noticed is that there's like the darker yellow on the bottom and the marshmallow is at the top. Now we're going to make a prediction. And remember, a prediction is making a guess for the future based on your observations. So we're going to use our observations to make a prediction. So try to answer the question, why do you think the marshmallow liquid floated to the top and the jello was at the bottom? So my prediction is that the marshmallow liquid floated to the top because it has a lower density than the jello on the bottom. So for those of you that don't know, density is the amount of space that it takes up in relation to the matter. So those are a little, they're kind of big words, but it's something that you're going to learn hopefully in the future about science. A simple way to think about density is to think about a beach ball on the ocean. So the beach ball is floating on the water, right? It's because it's big, so it takes up a lot of space, but the matter is not as big. And that's why it has a lower density than the water. So, and that's what makes it float at the top. Similarly, it looks like the marshmallow liquid has a lower density, which is making it go to the top. And that's why I made my prediction about density. Now comes the fun part. This is the part that I've been waiting for. I really hope that it turns out well. So you're going to take a butter knife or just anything else that you can use and run it along the edges so that you can take the jello out without a problem. Just like that. And I really hope it doesn't stick. So I'll do that to both of these. And if it's still like not coming off, I might just pour some warm water on it. The inside looks kind of bad, but the outside looks so sparkly. Oh my gosh. I just keep rolling it. The tighter, the better. Wow, okay. So now, we're basically done. Now all we have to do is cut it. Um, I've seen some people cut it with like a piece of string, but I'm gonna just go ahead and try this with the knife. So we're just gonna cut it into as many little rolls as you want. There's the first one. Let's try this one now. Oh, since it's thicker, it doesn't have as much of a swirl as those. See, it's kind of falling apart a little bit. I think I should have made these thinner so it looked kind of like that, but these are still looking really cool. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for joining me today to make these Jello marshmallow roll-ups. Hopefully they turn out just as good for you guys.